A rapid rise in inflammatory conditions like asthma and allergies has correlated with the rise of processed foods in the Western diet. This modern life we have, it's all fat and sugar because we love fat and sugar. Donuts and muffins and all these sorts of foods are everywhere. As we've radically changed our diet, we've left out a critical ingredient for our health, one that microbes love. Most of the bacteria that we're interested in live down in the bottom end in the large bowel. And very simple, if you eat things that are very quickly digested, and many highly processed foods clearly are, by the time it gets down there, there's nothing left. That missing ingredient is fibre. We eat way less fibre than what we should, probably one half or one third. Compared to our traditional diets, fibre is disappearing from our dinner plates. The hunter-gatherer populations eat something like 125 grams of fibre a day, so uh, almost 10 times what, uh, what, what Americans eat, for example. The interesting thing is that humans and many other animals do not have the enzymes to break down fibre. When everyone talks about the gut microbiome, the main thing it does is break down fibre. It was a breakthrough study at the Garvin Institute in Sydney that revealed why fibre might be so important for keeping inflammatory diseases at bay. Charles Mackay and his team were investigating the role of a receptor on immune cells and discovered that when the receptor was removed, mice got horrible diseases. Their colitis was much, much worse, their asthma, their food allergies. The receptor turned out to be a lock and key fit for metabolites produced by bacteria as they ferment fibre, known as short-chain fatty acids. Further studies showed that these metabolites could help resolve common inflammatory diseases that are skyrocketing in the developed world. And so we looked at food allergies, unbelievable results. You know, the short-chain fatty acids cut that down completely. Then we looked at asthma, which is more of a peripheral disease, and it cut that down. It almost wiped out type 1 diabetes with a high fibre diet. So it just looks like all these Western lifestyle diseases are all being controlled by the gut microbiome. We're going into humans now, particularly in type 1 diabetes. Others have gone into humans with high fibre diets in type 2 diabetes and got magnificent results. <laughs>